what's up y'all all right so i know it's been a minute since i made any videos but for those who don't know this is my 2013 audi s5 i've done quite some things since i've done my last update on the car so i want to go ahead and walk around the vehicle show you guys everything i've done since last time and i might mention the older stuff as well but this is going to be pretty much my walk around of my 2013 audi s5 but guys if you guys haven't liked or subscribed please it does help with the channel and i get to make more content which i do like doing but let me do a quick walk around on the vehicle and show you all the new stuff i've done so if you haven't noticed the car sits a whole lot lower now i finally got it lowered um it's been a long time coming but i am an h and r sport springs um it's a 1.4 um almost all around i think like 1.3 and 1.4 but yeah it drops the car quite a bit uh the back I know because I don't have rear seats and also I don't have like the tire and stuff in the back. If I did, I know it would be like really flush. The front on the other hand sits perfect for me. Um, I do have a front lip on it. So if I think if it was a little bit lowered, I would scrape a whole lot more than I do now. But honestly, I think it sits just perfect. I will go ahead and uh, put all the links for what I've gotten so far um, since last time down below. So the h and Sport Springs the first thing but yeah i think it sits really nice let me know what you guys think i think it's way needed after i did the wheels i needed it because you could see a giant gap in it just wasn't looking good so the next thing is besides all that is in the interior let me show you guys what i did so we go to the back i did that so <laughs> it's a harness bar it's not a roll cage or anything like that. It's a harness bar. Um, I was looking for a roll cage on this car, but I was like, let me, I couldn't find it. It's really hard to find it on these vehicles. So I have the rear seat delete on the car and I got a harness bar and I got the fire extinguisher just because I think it looks really good. Um, not really functional or anything like that. It's more aesthetic wise for me. I'm sure it does add some rigidity to the vehicle because I did mount it to the sides and to the bottom of the vehicle. So. It is bolted on there, it's not going anywhere, but yeah, mostly aesthetic wise, I think it looks good. And it goes good with all the red. So other than that, I've been doing a lot of maintenance on this car. I did the fuel pump, uh, the low pressure fuel pump, the high pressure fuel pump, and I also did my valve covers. So my valve covers were leaking a whole lot, like there was oil, like I, one day I pulled it, like after driving, parked it, and I started seeing smoke come out, and I was like, what is that? It's valve covers. They leak on these vehicles. They're known for it. Uh, they're plastic valve covers. So I got new valve covers with new gaskets and everything, and I got them in red. So I think it ties us with the vehicle. I did the caps and that red. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Let me know what you guys think. A little bit too tacky. You can always change it. Let me know, please. But the valve covers are staying red. I think it helps. Makes it look real good because the RS5 comes with red valve covers. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I know it comes with red valve covers. I think this looks super clean and also no more oil leaks. So it's a two in one type of deal. I'm glad I did it. Um, I did it myself. Not hard at all. Maybe it took me two and a half to three hours. I was my first time ever doing valve covers on these vehicles, but there's quite a bit of videos on there um, how to do them. Really easy. Everything just comes off. There's nothing that you have to like actually remove from the engine. It's it's super explanatory. There is some bolts in the back that are very complicated, but you'll if you do them, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's not something hard. You can do it yourself. Alright guys, I think that's all I've done since we last did an update on the car. Um, later on I might do a whole walk around of everything I've done on the vehicle just because it's quite some things. Oh, also did brakes. So I have uh, red ceramic stuff in the front brakes. And I got Brembo's pads in the rear um, because I don't like dust. Uh, and since then, since I've done my brake pads, there is no dust at all. So Brembo's in the back, Red's like ceramic stuff is I think is what it's called. But yeah, uh, the reason I was testing out, I wanted to see which one would good. There's no problem stopping on this car and there's no brake dust. So I'm okay with the setup I have now. But yeah guys, I won't waste time anymore. But this is my 2013 Audi S5. I have it like pretty mint condition. Um, maintenance wise, I've done a lot of things to it. Like I said, just replaced my high pressure fuel pump. Um, I'm doing my injectors next and then water pump as well. Uh, valve covers is done. 
when other than that, haven't had any issues with the car. Um, tires are new, wheels are new, uh, brakes are all taken care of. Uh, I, I take really good care of this car. I have my 2015 Audi S3 right there. That one's actually well maintained even though I use it as a daily driver and it's super dirty. I still take care of the car a whole lot. So, but this is my baby. I think from the back it looks really good too. Lowered, look at that. I think it's clean. But yeah guys, all right, so let me know if you guys want any like other videos. I am gonna do a whole walkthrough of, of the whole vehicle, um, everything I've done, because I know it's quite a bit, and since I did the last video, I didn't have wheels lowered and stuff like that. So next video, I'll do a whole, just complete list of everything I've done to the car, and I'll be posting every single thing on that video. But if there's anything you guys want me to pretty much talk about or film, let me know. Until next time guys, peace.